let's get into the game. Do game things. Because it is time to do game things. I keep trying to move my camera. <laughs> because I'm so used to having the ability to control my camera in games. And I can't. It makes me sad. Let's see what moves we already have. Alright. There we go. Okay. We're sorted. So these are a couple members that will probably be main members that kind of stick around with us for a while. So I wanted to make sure that I had our movesets figured out. Uh, luckily, their movesets are fairly simple. You know, they don't learn a whole lot. And most of the important stuff they learn is from TMs or like move tutors, things like that. They move, learn like one or two moves on their own. Which one was caught in the soot? Uh, we caught a Spinda. <laughs> we tried hard to get a Scarberry, but uh, we got a Spinda. <laughs> Sad face. Um, I can't remember if it was safe for us to send in Zoomer up against these. We'll just... We'll get Phoenix in there. Yeah, it's a pretty low chance of getting a Skarmory. We did what we could to increase our odds, but the odds were not in our favor. What we did was, uh, since Skarmory can only spawn in a certain specific level range, we went and got a Pokémon with that level and used a Repel so that we would only be able to get things within that level range or higher. So we tried. Unfortunately, we still got a Spinda. Which is very cute teddy bear, but uh, not useful to us in a Nuzlocke, unfortunately. However, we employed the same tactics again to get a Swablu, and we were successful. So now we have Cumulus, which is excellent because I love Altaria. Unfortunately, Swablu is very squishy, so it, we're going to have a time leveling it. <laughs> Honestly, we're probably better off just switching something else in to handle the fights. Let's be realistic. Poor Cumulus. They're trying. They're just so squishy. And they don't evolve until 30-something. We're probably going to try to get to... Get everyone to at least level 30. Um, we may want to get somebody other than not Goomba leveled to at least 30 as well for the fire gym coming up. Hello, Keijo! Too true. Hope you're doing good. Today is chill stream day. Today we level and gather ashes so that we can make flutes. And if we still have time left, we'll go get coins go to the game corner and do some games. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm excited to level Cumulus. I do want an Altaria. I want a floofy bird. I'm 
trying to strategically gather my ash. <laughs> So much leveling. Ugh. We probably shouldn't switch in Phoenix anymore. We ought to be careful. And be careful with our squish babies. Oh, that's scary. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I wonder how good Rock Smash would work. I will take your item. Ooh, an Ultra Wall. Very nice. Look, we might actually make it to the house this time. Ah, let's go back to town. <laughs> Maybe we don't make it to the house this time. That's okay. By the time we make it to the house, we're gonna have so many ashes. Armory's hurt. There's so many spindas. Ding! Level 17! Yay! Slowly but surely, Cumulus is becoming less squishy. These spindas kinda hurt. I wish they were worth more XP. At least we can multitask while we're out leveling today. Not like the other places we were leveling were. All we were doing was leveling. Oh, a sand shrew. I don't think we've actually seen a sand shrew out here yet. It probably knows dig. Ah. Uh... You can do it, Phoenix. Good job. You've got to know something other than sand attack and defense, girl. Scratch. Okay. I guess these sand trues don't know dig. Maybe. Uproar kind of hurts. Cumulus staying in party till it evolves. Mm. Maybe. Because... We, we need to not have grass-type Pokémon <laughs> when we go to the next gym. Yeah, we're kind of hurting for Pokémon that aren't awful against fire-types and ground-types. Ow. Oh, 
all. We're so close to the house. Level 23, no mud sport. No. Let's see if we have enough for the blue flute. We go for heels. We need the blue flute, the black flute, and the white flute. attack yes I will take that cumulus is becoming more self-reliant Try to do a fight by yourself. We missed. Okay, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> this is not going very well. Cumulus tried. Cumulus is not ready. Okay, more free XP for Phoenix. Yes, we accidentally skipped a row. It's okay. Do I not have running shoes? I do, but the zoomy bunny zoomy button is faster. Oh my god! Please! Bolt! You just have to hit it! Oh, I'm dumb! This isn't a spinda! <laughs> uh. This moment brought to you by me forgetting that I'm fighting a sand troop. There we go. <laughs> I'm so used to all of the spawns being spin does. <laughs> ah, I missed a row. bolt on a sand true because it's clearly a spinda <laughs> Gow.
Yow! Stop evading my quick attacks! Gow! <laughs> Gow! 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 That's a spin to this time, right? Okay. Gow! Gow! Gow. 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 Oh no. The head pats and the gow canceled each other out. <laughs> That's okay. One last gow. Gow. Okay. Wait. We get into another battle. We can do hydrates. Oh no. Um. No, that's not the one I wanted to switch in. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wrong one. Lots of hydrates. Pause. Pause. I gotta do- I gotta select a move. Mock punch. Here we go. Alright. And a posture check. And a stretch. Hold on, Skarmory. I'm stretching right now. Ah. Awesome. Thank you, Keijo. My shoulders appreciate you. Also, more hydrates. Yes. Always hydrating. Always. Hydration is key, marshmallows. Always hydrate. It's okay. It's alright. Phoenix is okay. Phoenix will be okay. We just need to be more careful. Ooh, more rare candy. I don't think we did 60-something more steps yet, but we can find out. Can I have a flute? Yes. Alright, we got the blue flute. One flute down. Two to go. Hello, Def. Doo -doo. How is you? Hope you're doing good. Having a good day. Yeah! Yeah, he uses the soot. That's that's why we're running through the ashes. To get the flutes. We, we need the soot to get the flutes. What do the flutes do? Uh, it depends on the flute. But... The, uh, the blue flute awakens sleeping Pokemon. So we won't have to buy the uh, awakenings or... I don't remember what the awakening item is called anymore. Because we... I don't think we ever bought any. Eh. There. See? So we've got an antidote. We've got blue flute. And we're gonna get the white flute and the black flute. Um, I think the white flute reduces encounters and black flute increases encounters. Either that or it's backwards. It might be black flute reduces encounters and white flute increases encounters. We're not going to get the yellow flute and the red flute because they heal um, infatuation and confusion, which doesn't follow us out of battle. So doesn't really help us. But sleep does, so we want the blue flute.
we're so close to having an Umbreon! So close. Oh, nice! Even Bolt is leveling up! Very good. See, what's nice about gathering the ashes is we can also get levels while we do it. We can multitask. We made it through the grass! We still have Pokemon that can fight, and we made it through the grass. Get used to this music. You're gonna hear it a lot. We're gonna be here for a bit. <laughs> But when we're done here, we will have lots of strong Pokémon and useful flutes that will make it so that we don't have to buy certain items anymore. That they will save us money and make our gaming experience more convenient. Not that we really need to save much money. We are a very rich trainer. We're, uh, we are not hurting for Poké Dollars. It's time! It's time! Yes. Learn Bite! Are you ready, Marshmallows? Oh, wait! Oh, we had to save before. Oh, I hope it's an Umbreon. Otherwise, nope, we gotta delay the evolution. Okay. Do we learn anything at level 30? No. Okay, so it's alright. We now need to figure out <laughs> what time is night time in our game. Because the clock probably doesn't match up. Save. When I was testing the first playthrough before, just running through to test how everything was working, uh, the clock did not work properly. So, <laughs> we're now going to need to uh, set our time a lot to try and find the right time. Let's see, where is my clock? Set the time. Here we go, okay. So do not set the time automatically. Change the date and time. Let's try switching to 2 a.m. first. And see what that does for us. Grab a rare candy. If you didn't know, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, while there is a quote-unquote day and night, the game itself is always the outside environment will always be daytime. It does not turn to nighttime visibly. But there is day and night based on the time in-game. Alright. Let's see if we got the nighttime this time. Yep! Alright! A 
our glorious Umbreon is here! It's finally time! Yes! Yes. And you know what that means. You know what that means. Uh, I think it means VC face is having a hard time and I need to start it over. <laughs> Hold on, we're frozen! Wait. Hold on. <laughs> we frozen. We gotta fix it. Give <laughs> me just a second. Oh. Don't mind the floating hands. Everything's fine. <laughs> Let's go! I have a thing. <laughs> bye bye, Sam! Thanks for coming! Have a good day at work! Are we still frozen? Okay, we're good. We're fixed. Hold on. Oh, uh, Umbreon broke VC face. It couldn't handle the glorious transformation. It was too much. Just couldn't take it. There we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> Can you see I've been waiting for this moment? I have been waiting. Waiting. Planning. I'll, I'll get the time back to normal later. <laughs> there we go. It is finally time. What do you have on? What are you holding right now? Silk scarf? Nah. Nah, fam. I got something else for you. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes! Finally! It is time! Umbreon is here! I'm so happy. Let's get good Umbreon. Best Umbreon. <laughs> Thank you! I like the hat too. You can get one too, it's in the credits. In fact, there's a hat for every evolution in there. And I'm gonna give the silk scarf to Zigzam now. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Did we heal? We're healing again. Also, while I'm thinking about it. Do we have a Pokemon <laughs> to maybe have for Flannery's gym instead of Nod Goomba? <laughs> Hi and hello, Nixidia! Hello! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... Hold on. I think... Yes. <laughs> Don't mind me. Doing all the things, making sure everything's good. Alright. So... Next gym is fire types. Uh, our water type Pokemon don't know any water type moves, and we can't teach them any water type moves. But maybe you might be a better idea than not Goomba, at least. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do with Flannery's gym. Uh, we'll keep not Goomba in our party for now, though. Because Not Goomba is helping us uh, be good at fighting Skarmories. <laughs> How is you, Nixidia? You're just in time. We just finally evolved Eevee into a glorious Umbreon. We had to wait this long for Eevee to learn Bite before we evolved. <laughs> Kato's got to go. Okay. Thanks for coming, Keijo. Have, have a safe trip. Wherever you're going, you take care. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm so excited to have Umbreon finally! 
Exidia is doing good. Good! You've been really busy, but you're excited to be watching more of the Nuzlocke? Yes! <laughs> I am having so much fun with the Nuzlocke. I am good. I am excellent. Thank you for asking. It's a chill day today. No progress. But, uh... We are leveling, and we are gathering soot for our flutes. And if we still have time later, we might go to the game corner and do some some games. Might do some games. For now, we're gathering soot, and we're leveling. Because... Oh, I forgot I can't give Zigzam things to hold! Because then they won't pick things up! <laughs> I forgot! We'll give Cumulus the Silk Scarf. But yeah. Do leveling, and if we've got time after, we might do... some game corner, because we need coins for a couple of TMs, too. You can do a Cumulus! There we go. Look at that! Cumulus did their first solo fight! Let's go! Let's go, Cumulus! Let's go! First solo fight! Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> that didn't last very long. Oh yeah, we gotta we got level Cumulus and Zoomerupt. Because we just got them yesterday. And they're gonna be some big members of our team. So we need to level them. Ah, uh, no, that's risky. Always play around the crit. Always play around the crit. Oh, no. <laughs> Our first bite. Yes. Okay. I'm so proud of Cumulus. They did their first solo fight. Our little birds growing up. Oh, uh, no, that's too close. Cumulus did good. Almost. Cumulus can almost fight a Spinda. <laughs> Swablu is super precious. I love Swablu. I'm super excited that we got one. We tried hard to guarantee ourselves a Swablu. And we were successful. missing. Got him. Okay. We did it. Exactly. Baby steps. Swablu will get there. Cumulus. Cumulus will get there. They're trying hard, and they're doing good. Someday, they will be a dragon bird. And all will cower in their presence. Their glorious, floofy presence. <laughs> I keep forgetting to take Zigzam's item. Why are you missing? There we go. Now we got it. Oh! You can do it! You can do a Cumulus! Nice! Good job! Second solo battle! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> That's, that's too close. You tried. More 
more items. Nice, more candy. We have so much candy. No. Oops. We missed a path. Oh no. Oh, we're confused. Nope. This is bad. Confused bad. There we go. It's okay. Can you tell I know this song really well? I'm used to doing this for a very long time to get the flutes. <laughs> this is not my first time farming soot for flutes. not to use mock punk all the time because I want to make sure I'm saving that for Skarmory's. Even though we never find Skarmory's. Skarmory's don't exist. There is only Spindas. Just Spindas. Tons and tons of Spindas. Always Spindas. You're getting dizzy from all the Spindas yet? I was trying to go a space over. We should probably head back to town. <laughs> Not Goomba's getting kinda low. And that'll be risky against a Skarmory. There we go. Save. <laughs> we made it so far. You can do it, Cumulus. Uh, one more. Yes. Nice. Good job, Cumulus. Very good. Um. I'll take Safeguard over Sing. Sing's accuracy is just... It's too low. It's just too low. <laughs> we might manage to see all four billion patterns of Spinda. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure how many patterns there are. I know there's a lot. <laughs> it would be really sad to, like, be looking for a specific pattern of Spinda and to find it and then to not be able to catch it for whatever reason and then it's just gone forever. That's Anubis, by the way. If you hear the incessant forking. That is Anubis. The neighbors are outside cleaning stuff with their power washer. And he has been barking. All day. <laughs> He's very upset. Imagine looking for a specific pattern shiny Spinda. Oh, that would be so awful. <laughs> That sounds like the worst shiny hunt ever. 
Well, found the pattern. It's not shiny. Guess we start over. <laughs> you missed Anubis. Anubis misses all of you. He legitimately, he and Balefire both, they get sad if we don't stream for a long time. Pet someone out there would do it. They probably would. Because, you know, you gotta... You just keep trying to find yourself things to do with your Pokemon game. And eventually, you get to the real hard challenges. And that is quite the challenge. That would be the accomplishment of accomplishments. Like... Shiny Mewtwo, shiny, you know, insert random legendary here. Nah, I picked a specific pattern of Spinda and kept hunting until I found that specific pattern shiny. That, that is the challenge to beat all challenges. I wonder if somebody actually has, though. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody has, but I wonder if somebody has streamed doing that. Because it would be really incredible to see the moment that somebody found a specific pattern they were looking for in shiny form. That would be pretty incredible. <laughs> also, I want to know how long it took them. <laughs> I bet that would take a very long time. Goomba's HP is getting low. And we need not Goomba for Skarmory's. Oh, we should check what ability Phoenix has now that they evolved. We'll check it at the Pokemon Center. Let's see. Because we're not going to have Runaway anymore. What do we have now? Synchronize. Nice! Actually, legitimately excited about that. I really like Synchronize. So now, if a Pokemon gives Phoenix a status effect, like Paralyze or something, that Pokemon will also get that status effect. And anytime we switch Phoenix into battle with a status effect, the other Pokemon will be affected with it. That's legitimately useful. I'm excited. Cumulus is on a roll! Level 22 and fighting on their own. She's getting more independent every day. Look at her go! Two battles in a row! Let's go, Cumulus! Nope, that's too risky. She did good. She tried. Almost. So close to three. So close to three battles in a row. She's trying hard. She's getting there. Slowly but surely, she's getting there. Our little floofy burb. She's making us proud. Ow! 
pain! Pain, ow! of neat that Linoon is still a member of our main team. Because I I really like Linoon, but normally Linoons don't last in my teams very long. Because, you know, you can get other Pokemon that are just stronger and more useful. Not that Linoon's not strong and useful. They just, you know, they're an early game Pokemon and they kind of don't hold up to other Pokemon the further you get into the game. So it always made me kind of sad, because I like them a lot, so I was always sad when they were no longer good for my party. More candy! You with Furret? Yes. Furret also. Same feels. For it too. Loves for it, loves keeping it in my party. But someday, I end up not having a for it anymore, and then I'm sad. Yes. Love for it, you're right. For it is top tier early root rodent. They are. Plus, Sentret is adorable. Furret and Sentret are both adorable. But Sentret is adorable. <laughs> Not Goomba's level 30 now. I love Sentret. When Sentret first came out, I was so excited. I was like, it's so cute. And then it evolved into Furret, and I was thrilled. I like cute Pokémon. I also really like to shiny hunt. So that's probably a thing we'll do someday. Probably when we play Pokémon Reborn. <laughs> We're probably going to catch all of the shiny forms of the Pokémon that we use. Because that's what I did my first playthrough. I actually, uh, I would go through on every single route. And I would catch every Pokémon on the route in shiny form. Because the shiny odds are so much better in Pokémon Reborn, so it was fun. To just do it from the get-go instead of waiting until the end of the game. Yeah, Reborn does have amazing shiny sprites. They are super cool. I heard that Reborn is actually going to be finished soon. And I'm excited for that. Like, if that's actually true, I am legitimately excited. Because I really enjoyed Reborn, and I actually still haven't finished it. So, when we eventually play it on stream, that will be the first time I actually finish the game. I made it to, um, where if you progress, you can't go back. So I wanted to make sure I had all my teams prepped and everything. So where I left off, I was, uh, I was training up all my Pokemon and doing IV stat, you know, IV training, or EV training, that's the word. I was doing EV training, I was making sure I had everything evolved how I wanted, that I had all the learn sets I wanted, that if there were any Pokemon on that side of the game, 
that I had them. You know, I was doing all the things to be ready to not be able to come back for a while. Because I knew it was coming up. And I was having fun. Like, I actually thoroughly enjoy just going and grinding effort values and leveling up Pokemon and going hunting for shinies. I enjoy all those grindy things. I like doing grindy things. <laughs> I'm that person. I like to grind. Uh, when I played through Reborn, so far at least, I did not lose any gym battles. That was my goal. I made sure, you know, I did my pre-game before every gym battle. I knew what Pokemon they had, and I would make sure I had my team all ready to go. I didn't look at, like, what moves they had or anything, but I knew what Pokémon they had, and that's what I planned for. Because I didn't want to make it too easy. <laughs> you enjoy shiny hunting, too? Always feels rewarding, and then the shiny can collect dust in the PC. Aww. Poor shiny collecting dust. I only shiny hunt Pokemon that I use. Like a Pokemon, in normal games at least, has to be real special for me to shiny hunt it. But I will hunt it. <laughs> so like I have, in the past I have had shiny Umbreon, shiny Sylveon, shiny Leafeon. Um... I'm trying to think if there was any others. I think there was others that I would have liked to have shiny. But I didn't really go after them. Because it would have required egg breeding. And I didn't want to. <laughs> but I had like random shinies. Uh, I had a shiny Hoot Hoot, and I believe I had a shiny Butterfree, and a shiny Tentacool. Just random ones. As sh using shinies on your team is the most fun. In Reborn, I... <laughs> I hunted shinies just to put them in the PC. That was my I'm just shiny hunting because I can game. <laughs> because the odds were more reasonable, so it was fun. Zodiac the whole time was just like, why? Why are you hunting every single Pokemon shiny? And I was like, because I can. Because it's fun. And the odds aren't terrible. And I want to see all the shinies. And plus, I might use them. Because, you know... In Reborn... You're, you're not generally gonna get through with just one set team. You're, you're gonna have to change your bonds. <laughs> you need variety in your team. So I might use the shinies.
for anyone who doesn't know what Pokemon Reborn is. We've been talking about Reborn this whole time. And we might have people who don't know what Pokemon Reborn is. Let me explain. Pokemon Reborn is a fan game. It's Pokemon for adults. <laughs> it's really hard, really mature Pokemon. Like, there are some serious topics in Pokemon Reborn that happen that are, uh, not safe for children. <laughs> It's a very good game, though. The story is great. The fights are awesome because, like, well, I mean, if you enjoy really hard fights, it's a lot of fun. If you don't enjoy really hard fights, you're probably not going to like it. If you like just face rolling through a game, you can't face roll through Pokemon Reborn, you will die horribly. Uh, <laughs> but if you like a challenge, it's really fun. And the, uh, the shiny odds are higher. You can get, uh, mods for Pokemon Reborn so that you can use HMs without teaching them to Pokemon. Which was one of my favorite things because I no longer had to have HM slaves in my party. Um, you can get mods for, like, breeding eggs, too, so that you can instantly spawn and breed, or spawn and hatch eggs in your PC. Actually, I don't remember if it instantly spawns eggs, but you can instantly hatch eggs in your PC, and that's useful. It makes, uh, breeding for shinies far less mind-numbing. <laughs> and it makes your thumbs hurt a lot less. Why would it make your thumbs hurt a lot less, you ask? Because you don't have to run in circles forever to hatch the eggs. <laughs> you can just hatch them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very good for your joints. Discord, yes. The super fun game, I highly recommend. I don't know if it's finished yet. It might not be. But maybe it is. Because I heard. I heard that it was finishing soon. So maybe it's done now. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Because we're not ready yet. We're not ready to play Reborn yet. We're still playing our first Nuzlocke. We're not ready. But we are going to play Reborn. Believe me, we are playing Reborn. <laughs> oh no. Nixidia rage quit. I mean, it's a very rage quitty kind of game. If any Pokemon game is going to make you rage quit, Reborn is the one that will do it. It will make you rage quit hard. It is not an easy game. <laughs> the fluff! <laughs> making you want to play it again? It's so good. Listen. Listen, it's been a while since you played. You've played more Pokemon games. You've hunted shinies. And you have grown as a trainer in Exidia. Gowl. You are ready, Gowl. For the true test of your abilities as a trainer, Gowl. I believe in you, Nixidia, Gowl. Go, Gowl. Go forth with your favorite Pokemon, Gowl. And defeat the whatever region that is. Elite Four, Gao. You can do it, Gao. Maybe not with your favorite team. You might need to switch a few of your favorite team members out, Gao. But you can keep some of them, Gao. <laughs> 
You can keep some of them, I'm sure. Or... You can just be really, really stubborn, Gal. Like me. <laughs> and you can go in, Gal. With your favorite team, Gal. And you can win. Through sheer force of determination, Gal. Gal. Be determination, Nixidia. Be determination. Reborn can't beat you. You will beat Reborn. They don't know what's coming for them. You are you are a different person now. A stronger person. A harder person. A person who knows how to Pokemon like no other. <laughs> You have to do it and possibly pass away when it gets too hard. It won't get too hard! You are too strong! They they underestimated you last time. But this time. This time you'll show them. Wait, that's that's not a spinda. You gotta send in Zigzam. <laughs> you come crawling for emotional support when you struggle. I will give you all of the support you need. Your motivation is always right here waiting for you. I will encourage you like no other. You will not know defeat. Defeat is not a word that exists in your vocabulary. Not anymore. Only winning. Only winning. Something, something. Try, try again. If you hit your head against the wall hard enough, Eventually, you will create a, a hole, and you will break through. That's how it works, right? <laughs> Don't actually hit your head against a wall. Don't do that, it's a metaphor. <laughs> Disclaimer, don't smash your head into walls. It's not a good idea. Also, don't punch trees. That's also a bad idea. That's how you break your hand. We learned the hard way here. Don't punch trees, okay? We already did it for you and learned the hard way. <laughs> you will create a hole and suddenly see your flatmate in the other room and be like, oops. <laughs> I think your landlord is going to be very upset about that. Especially when you explain to them that it was all for Pokemon. They're going to be very confused. <laughs> They're gonna think that this is about Pokemon Go. And you're gonna have to explain to them, no sir, or ma'am. This is not about Pokemon Go. It is in fact about Pokemon Reborn. And they're gonna be like, what the heck is Pokemon Reborn? <laughs> what is this new Pokemon that I have to learn now? Your bank account would not like that. Probably not. We're getting kind of low on HP on everyone. <laughs> but look, we're getting so high leveled. We're making so much progress. Cumulus is getting so strong. Hey, I wonder if we have enough Ash for the other flute yet. Maybe we check on our way back next time. Let's see which one we can get. We'll be sad if it's neither. We are fighting so many Spindas. 
There's so many of them. I want a snob! Everyone's snobs are so adorable and I want one! And I want a Wooloo! Oh, I need a Wooloo! I need a snob and a Wooloo! Oh, did you know? Did you know? I found a snob. It's not an emote. I found a snob that's actually like a stream asset. It's like a little pet. It's a little friend that we could put on stream. Friends! And it's a, it's an emergency snob. That might not make sense right now, but remember, we play Genshin Impact. Does it make sense now? <laughs> Can we just appreciate how Breloom is such an underappreciated Pokemon? But it has a design that's so cute and badass. Yes! I love Breloom. Yes, give. Oh, we have enough for the white flute! Okay. Do we have enough for the black flute? Not yet. We got a lot of steps to go. <laughs> but we got one. We might eventually have a snob. I haven't added the snob to the stream yet. Because I have to figure out uh, how exactly we would go about adding it. Because it's actually... Um, it moves. So... I need to figure out how we use it. Yes, better later than never. I'm excited to maybe implement it at some point. <laughs> it's very cute though. It's uh it's Genshin Impact themes knob. Mm, hydrating. Hydration break marshmallows. Make sure you're drinking. It's very hot, so make sure you are keeping hydrated and resting. Yes, two fights in a row. Can we make it three? You can do it, Cubulus. Three fights in a row! Cumulus is getting strong! Can we make it four? Yes! We can make it four! Go, Cumulus! Let's go! Oh no, nope, 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 nope. That's a nope. That is a nope. Level 16 Spindas are dangerous. The music's all messed up. We broke it. You know, I might use a berry. Oh, that reminds me, we have berries that we need to, like, actually go and harvest. There. Now we won't have to listen to low HP noises. Also. Okay, yeah, so this one lures wild Pokemon. Now we have confirmed. There. Oh. Well, this is for... This is for Phoenix. There you go. <laughs> Protein is for Phoenix. Protein is always for Phoenix. Oh my me. Just organizing a little bit for a minute. I like my things organized, okay? I just... I like my... I like when my inventory is organized. It makes me feel good about it. I like to feel good about my inventory. I like it neat and organized so I can find everything. Cumulus is getting stronger. Go the other way. Thank you. I love it when they listen. See, you just have to ask nicely. 
Never mind that we didn't ask nicely. <laughs> Never mind that we demanded. Sam's got something. I got to take. Super potion. Very nice. We never have to buy potions because Zigzam. Zigzam takes good care of our party. Zigzam's always picking up potions. Twenty-six. This exam's getting stronger. Easy. I'm super excited that, like, we've been lucky enough get a handful of Pokemon that I genuinely enjoy having during this Nuzlocke. It makes me happy. I don't just have a team full of useful Pokemon. I have a team full of Pokemon that I actually like. And that's nice. That's why I wanted to do a Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Because this generation, in the games anyway, has a lot more Pokémon that I like. You know, more odds of having Pokémon I like. Your favorite thing about Nuzlocke is being able to use Pokémon you've always wanted to use but never could fit on your team. Yep. Exactly. Oh, jeez. That was... Pain. Let's just... I think... Dark is weak... On... Steel, but... That might be our best option. Yeah. Alright, we gotta head back to town and heal. Nakuma's starting to have a rough time. Goomba's a champ, though. They've been, like, the long-time running MVP of our team. Until we got Phoenix. Phoenix is the MVP now. You'll see. But not Goomba has done a very good job of holding up the party until now. Have an attachment to Relicanth, since it was your MVP in X and Y Soul Link Nuzlocke. Aw, with your boyfriend? That's super cool! You would have never expected such power from Relicanth. It is a really cool Pokemon, actually. There's a lot of Pokemon that people... They don't really use, so they tend to underestimate. You know, there's all these Pokemon out there that are just kind of the meta. So people don't really use the other Pokemon much. See, I tend to use a pretty wide variety of Pokémon because I just use whatever I like. <laughs> I don't care if it's good or not. I just use what I like. Eek. 
even in Reborn, I was, uh, I was very stubborn. And while I did increase the variety of Pokémon that I had available to use, I still only used Pokémon I liked. <laughs> I was still very stubborn about not using a Pokémon just because it was strong. I still had to like the Pokémon. Yup, exactly. Using what you like regardless of fun is the best way to play Pokémon. Cumulus is getting stronger. Ding level 27! Soon. Soon they will be a glorious cloud of fluff. Regardless of how adorable you think Sunflora is, you don't think you'd have the heart to use it. Aww! ever used Sunflora. I don't know much about it. I really like Sunkern, though. Sunkern's super cute. It's bad. Aw. That's so sad. You know, that seems like the kind of Pokemon that would be really fun, like, that a lot of people would generally like. It's kind of sad if it's, you know, not usable. I just keep thinking about every time we talk about a different Pokemon, I'm just like, I wonder what a shiny form looks like. <laughs> My brain is stuck in shiny land now. I like shinies. We like shiny things here. Someday we're going to have an emote. That's just, it's a shiny emote. It's going to be a face that's like, wow! And the emote's going to be called shiny. I think we have uh, an Umbreon that's doing that right now. <laughs> but someday we'll have our own. Oh, we ran out of... Wow, that's first. When you are younger, you shiny hunted so much that you're pretty sure you know what every shiny looks like. That sounds kind of cool, though. Like, I feel like it would actually legitimately be really cool to be super familiar with all of the shinies. It's like, yeah, I hunted that shiny, and that shiny, and that shiny. I know what all the shinies look like. I think that would be cool. But I also might have a slight obsession with shinies. So... Just just a slight one. I don't have a problem, you have a problem, okay? I, I don't have a shiny hunting problem. Shiny hunting problems don't exist. <laughs> boyfriend gets mad when you say I have that in shiny form about most Pokemon. Aww. It's okay, he's just jealous. That's all.
You just gotta put in the work. You gotta go and get the shiny charm and spend hours and days breeding Pokemon. You gotta work hard for the shiny. <laughs> you have to teach him your shiny hunter ways. Teach him the secrets. Make him your shiny hunting pupil. Items. Yes. Super potion. Excellent. We could probably fight the Sand Shrews with low HP. You know, it's not the safest to fight the Spin Duds. But we could probably fight the Sand Shrews. Twenty-seven. Ding. They are getting so strong. I just wish Swab are cumulus. I wish that she could like hold her own. A little bit more. She's just so squishy still. She can't quite hold her own against Spindas. Spindas are too strong. We're close. 67 steps away. Yes, Cumulus will be majestic soon. Strong and majestic. She will make all of the other Pokemon jealous. It'll be glorious. always hits twice. Like, you know you can hit more than two times with Fury Attack, right, Cumulus? You can. I know you like the number two. A lot. You might even be a little bit obsessed with it. But I promise, you can hit more than two times. <laughs> She's trying her best! She is. She thinks two is the best. My friend, please. Thank you. See, we were polite and he moved. Level 16 Spindas are too dangerous for Cumulus. She's starting to do so good though. Our little pog camp. <laughs> I think it's kind of silly how we have all these other Pokemon that are like 
level 25 and 27, and they're just like one hit shotting everything. And then there's Cumulus. <laughs> She's trying her best. She's going to be even more powerful than all of them when she's done. She'll show them. She's just a late bloomer. That's all. She's going to be a majestic dragon bird. And the, these things, they take time. It takes time to be majestic. So many spin does. I don't even know what EVs we're getting from this. Hopefully we're getting good ones. Oh, this is risky. This is a bad idea. There we go. Oh, we probably have enough for our flute now. do a heal and then we check and see if we have enough for our flute because I think we do I keep accidentally checking the base we need the black flute right yeah Yes! We have it. We have them. We have all of them now. Excellent. Now we can go level somewhere else. <laughs> we don't need to level here anymore. Goodbye, Spinda. Oh, we should actually, uh... We should get somebody else in here. For Flannery's gym. Here we go. Because Not Goomba's gonna have a bad time if we bring Not Goomba to Flannery's gym. So we'll get Kiwi Burb in here to start leveling up. go level over here for a little bit now. Swablu versus Cumulus. They don't stand a chance. Look at all the Swablus we're finding now. They know we love Swablu. They know. Lotad. Ludicolo's a neat Pokemon. It's too bad. I don't think we have the sharp beak yet, do we? Because that would actually probably be useful. Out here, anyway. And a lombre. That's gonna be good XP. Don't get paralyzed, Cumulus! There you go. Do we have a paralyzed heal? We don't, do we? We've got some full heals. We could use... Oh, we don't have that many cherry berries. Never mind. Here. Let's do this. We don't know refresh yet. To heal that ourselves. Oh, Sviper. Sviper is a cool Pokemon. Oh, 
Oh, it's worth a lot of XP, too. Nice. Very nice. Just have to remember that they know rap, so... Definitely be careful of that. Uh, we can wait until we wake up. We'll be fine. There we go. Ah, uh, let's switch. I don't want him to get stuck with that low of HP. Makes me nervous. So we know they know... Lick, Wrap, Bite. Seems like they probably don't know any attacks that are too dangerous. Which is good for us. It means we can keep Cumulus in when they're high on HP at least. And get that easy a or XP. Speaking of. as well use a super potion. Because then we can keep going. King's Rock, nice. We have two of those now. I'm not sure we can actually use them effectively. Oh, okay. Level 17, they know Poison Tail. Noted. We're out of fury attack. Well, we'll just keep going until we like run out of peck since we used a super potion. Level 30 now. Okay, so safeguard. And then. gets examined. Ah, I'm just, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous about fighting them with only Peck. The Survivor is not a weak Pokemon. is a really cool Pokemon. I like it a lot, too. I think it would be cool if they gave it an evolution. And, uh, Zangoose, too. I'd like to see an evolution for them. Oh, jeez. We accidentally stayed in. Okay. That's okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's okay. That was scary. We're okay. <laughs> I would be so upset.
It's okay. We're okay. We're fine. Yo, we should just save Fury Attack for the survivors. We don't need to use Fury Attack on the other Swablus. Let's be smart about this. There we go. Just gotta plan a little better. That's all. We had our good scare to remind us to plan better. Sometimes you need a good scare to remind you that you're playing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> sleeping. There we go. We're safe. Cumulus is safe. Level 31! Takedown, huh? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'd probably rather have that than Astonish, but... I kind of don't like the idea of having moves that do damage to us in a Nuzlocke. <sighs> Let's skip it. It's not worth the risk. We don't need attacks with recoil. It's not a good idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not confident enough to use uh, moves with recoil in a Nuzlocke. That makes me too nervous. Moves with recoils make me nervous in normal gameplay. I'm definitely not using them in a Nuzlocke. More Lombre, please. They're so easy and they're worth so much. Please. The level 17 survivors make me so nervous. I, d I don't want to fight them on Cumulus. They scare me. <laughs> it's not worth it. They're still worth 200 XP if we switch out. It's too scary. Cumulus is too precious. We have to protect them. Small baby cotton bird needs protecting. They have poison tail at level 16, too. Ah. Uh. Scary. Survivor is scary. <laughs> Sometimes wild Pokemon are scary. Especially when they're Survivor. And they have Poison Tail. Pain. uncomfortably low. No thank you. No. 
Level 17, no. You can fight Phoenix. No. Alright, let's go do a heal. We gained a level. Do heal thing. We have some stuff we can sell too. Does Exam have anything? No. Let's sell some things. Real quick. Oops. Gosh darn it! Just go down one! There. Three. Money. Money. Yes. Okay. We did money things. Save. I'm sad that Swablu and Altaria in Generation 3, at least, they never learned Wing Attack. I really wanted Wing Attack, and they don't learn it. Sad. Sad face. Safeguard, because we know they have Poison Tail at level 16. There we go. Easy. We don't want to get poisoned. Poison is very bad. Poison bad for Nuzlocks. We ran too far. We have Astonish and we never use it. Because everything is normal type. Also, Astonish is just not a very strong move. I think it can cause things to flinch, though. I wonder if it still can cause a flinch in Gen 3. Or if that was, like, a newer Gen thing. Let me see. I'm curious now. Yes! It can cause flinching. I suppose it might be useful on a Pokémon, like, if the only other move you had was Tackle or something, and you weren't fighting a Pokémon that's resistant to Ghost-types. Could get that random flinch every once in a while. Seviper. might evolve next level. It's either next level or 35. One of our Pokemon that we're leveling today evolves at level 33, and the other one evolves at level 35. And I don't remember which one's which. I'm stuck! There we go. <laughs> it is gonna be super exciting. Look at the dancing! The dancing. We're gonna have a dancing emote someday. Someday. See what? We're gonna have a different dance though. I forget what the name of that game is that that's from. Can't remember now. One with all the little demons. And do puzzles. And it's got good music. Level 33! Nope, okay. So Cumulus is level 35 then. And Zoomerupt is level 33. Stop putting me to sleep! No, 
Helltaker. That's what it is. Helltaker? Is that right? That's the name of the game, I think. Something like that. Collect all the demon waifus. They're cute. It's fun, but it frustrates you. I've never played it. I've seen other people play it. And, like, I've heard the music from it, and I've seen the cute dances, and, you know, all the things. But I've never actually played. Would probably be fun, though. I like puzzle games. Not when I have a migraine, because then my brain does not function. <laughs> puzzle games are bad on migraine days. But, on non-migraine days, I like puzzle games. Puzzle games are fun. Stop putting me to sleep! Stop! I use singing, it never hits, but they use singing, it hits every time. Bunch of nope. Nope. We're gonna start spending more time on leveling streams as we get higher. But I'm okay with that. I enjoy leveling streams. I wish I had, like, a cute... One of those cute comfy avatars, the little PNG ones. I wish I had one of those for when we do chill streams. And we could just have a cute little comfy... Uh, I want a, re a reactive, comfy PNG avatar. That would be so cute and precious. I think about that every time we have a comfy stream. We're just like, ah, oh, I want one. I want one. Be so cute and comfy. Ba -ba -ba. We get so many Swablus here. It makes me happy. Because I like Swablu. Oh, time to go heal. We're all out of peck. Don't paralyze me. Everywhere we go, we get paralyzed. We can't escape it. It's everywhere. <laughs> We're so cursed save and do drink thing hydrate arshvelos hydrate hydrate do hydrate thing it's important to stay hydrated especially when it's boiling lava hot outside survivor Oh. And that's why survivors scare me. Critical hits are pain. We have so much HP. I was just looking at how much HP we have. It's like... We actually have a decent chunk of HP. Soon. Soon we will be level 35, and then we will have a glorious Altaria. <laughs> I haven't stopped leveling. Uh, oh, can you not look at the badges? You can't, like, you can't look at them? I wanted to look at them to remember what level they make Pokemon obey you up until. 
guess I'll have to look it up. Because I don't remember. I just, I want to get Cumulus to level 35, so we can have a glorious Altaria. But I think everyone else, we're just going to try to get to 30. Cumulus is special. Actually, I guess we, we can bring uh, Zoomer up up to 33. So they can be a big boy. Or big girl. We have a girl. They can be a big girl. We're getting low on peck. <laughs> Time to start using fury attack. We can save peck for the lombres and low tads. A viper. No. We're just gonna go ahead and be safe. Ding! Level 28! Everyone's getting so strong. Protein! That's for Phoenix. Give me that protein. There you go. Yeah. We missed. You can do it. <laughs> that is the longest it has taken us to fight another Swablu. So many misses. And they kept growling at us, so we did less damage. Oh, we made it pretty far in the song that time. Is it time? Is it time? Is it time? Oh, so close! So close! Now, now, surely now it's time. Surely. Surely now. Yes. It's time. It's time! Let's go! It's time! It is time! Yes! Majestic. Majestic. Yes. Give me dragon breath. Excellent. Yes. Okay, now... We need to level Zoom Erupt. Let's go heal. That's worth a save. We did it. We did it. We got our flutes. We evolved Cumulus into a majestic floof. Now we level Zoomerupt. I don't know if they have any water moves, and I'm scared. <laughs> That's fine, this will be good free XP for Kiwi Burb. can fight a little bit. Just a little. 
I did not need to use wing attack. I could have just used peck. Now the easy levels begin. Nice, we burned them. We're never, like, we, we haven't been finding any survivors anymore. What happened to all the survivors? The Vipers were worth good XP. Bring back the Vipers. Their nature power turns into stun spore. Zoomer up gamed one level. Surskit! Aw, oh, that's the first time we've seen one! So cute. I like Masquerade. Masquerade's a cool Pokemon. Uh, uh, uh. We could fight this. We could. Masquerade is really cool. Just wish it kept Surskits typing. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what level Swablu learned Fury Attack at, and I'm just kinda... Makes me nervous. I don't remember what typing that uh, Masquerade ends up with in the end. It's been such a long time. said every time we talk about a new Pokemon, my brain goes, oh, I wonder what it looks like shiny. <laughs> Masquerade is bug flying, Surskit is bug water, aha! Bug water would have been a lot more unique, and honestly, like, I feel like bug water would have made a lot more sense. That's just me. Because, you know, it's a water bug. Even after it evolves, it's... It's still a water bug. It just... Floats now. I think there really is, like... Just thinking about it, there is a lot of bug Pokémon that evolve and become, like, some variation bug flying. Stop sleeping, Kiwi Burb! I wonder if a day-night cycle happened or something. Because we really aren't seeing any survivors anymore. do a heal since we got paralyzed. Eh. There we go. Super ups level 21! And we're sleeping. Do, do. 
Zoomerup's gonna be so strong. Just like Cumulus. Someday, it will be so strong. Five, that's fine. Okay, that's not fine anymore. Switch and bolt. There we go. We still have to get Bolt evolved, too. Oh, I forgot Zoomerup is sleeping! Oh! Is it time? It's time! I didn't realize we were so close! Nice! Menek trick! Very nice! Congratulations, Bolt! Bolt is a strong boy now! Everyone's getting so strong! Oh, we have to update our, uh... I just realized we have to update our team now, don't we? Because everyone's evolving. Hold on. Let me do that. Let me update. Let's just, let's, let's do that. Get Umbreon in here. Okay. Make sure they're in a good spot. Oh, they're not centered. We can fix that, though. Right here. There. They're nice and centered. Change their name, rename. Umbreon. Actually, I think we already... Hold on a minute. Because we might have actually... Yeah, we already had that waiting. There we go. So we've got Umbreon. We don't need Eevee anymore. And who else? And that trick is... Apparently I already updated Bolt to a Manetric. Oops. Without realizing that I was doing it too early. Oh well. <laughs> uh, Breloom is not in our party right now. We need to get... Where are you? Get an Altaria in here. Fix that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Majestic Altaria. A little bit smaller so they fit inside the Pokeball. There we go. There. Gotta move them up in the list. I have my Pokémon in alphabetical order, so that they're easy to find. Who else did we change? Dustox isn't in our party right now. Um, who is in our party? Hold on, I gotta look at my party list. Oh, that's right, Zoom erupt. There we go. Our little Nubble. A little bit smaller. There. Perfect. It will be a camera up soon. Okay. Now I think our party is correct. Double check. Yup. All good. We are up to date now. Have you ever done a randomizer Nuzlocke? Nope. <laughs> I, uh, I probably would do a randomizer Nuzlocke, but this is actually our very first Nuzlocke, so... It's not just our first Nuzlocke as a stream, it, it's actually my very first Nuzlocke. I've never done a Nuzlocke before. This is my first. I've been, uh, watched lots of them, though. I like Nuzlockes a lot. I thoroughly enjoy watching Nuzlockes. I've just never done my own. This is our first one. I saved it just for stream. <laughs> They're super fun. 
Nuzlocks are great. I have been having a very fun time. We were, uh, we were mostly very light on the rules because I wanted this first Nuzlocke to be fun. You know, be a challenge, but not such a challenge that it wasn't enjoyable. I wanted us to have fun this first time. So we have, like, a few somewhat relaxed hardcore rules just to make it a little bit more challenging. And then in the future, we'll actually do a hardcore nose lock. And that'll be fun. You find randomizer nose locks fun and chaotic? They are, though. <laughs> now, something that I learned from the professional nose lockers that I think. I think more people would benefit from is they always say you know don't don't make your first nuzlocke hard on yourself you know don't worry about it you're doing your first nuzlocke have fun if you're going through and you've set a rule for yourself and you find that it's making it impossible for you to beat the run just change the rule <laughs> it's okay you know, have fun your first time. That's the idea. The idea is to have fun. If you're not having fun, then change the rule. And I agree with that. And then just as you go, you know, when you do the next Nuzlocke, try the rule again. You know? You don't have to keep the same rules forever. You can have different rules. You can make your Nuzlocke's a little bit harder at a time. That's, that's kind of the idea. It's to challenge yourself, not make it impossible. Challenge yourself a little bit more each time. You allow yourself to catch Pokemon in areas that aren't really new areas. That's actually, um, that's a discussion that I've had with others. That honestly, I think is kind of one of those things that can really, it can be a lot of fun in a Nuzlocke where you're just trying to have fun. You know? If you're just trying to have fun, and you're not necessarily, you know, doing a challenge run. I tend to agree with the people that are on the side of, you know, it might not be a new area, but it's a new zone. And there are different spawns in this new zone. And I think I should be able to catch another Pokemon. And I'm just like, you know, yeah, if you're doing it for fun, you do you, you know, have fun. That's the idea. I agree with that. It's like a great example. It's the very first game, or very first cave in this game that you get into. <laughs> Don't mind the bot freaking out. Uh, <laughs> the bot is set up so that if anybody says the word rules it will post the rules <laughs> so that if people ask they can get them so don't mind it spamming the rules right now because we're talking about rules 
Yup, Nuzlocke's are challenging to begin with. And it is perfectly valid to change the rules if you want to do it for fun. 100%. Oh yeah, like I was saying, like, the very first <laughs> uh, cave that you can go into in this game is a great example of that. When you go in that cave, there are multiple levels in that cave. And the very first part you can get into has completely different spawns than the second level of the cave. And it's like that in all caves. Uh, there's a cave in the game, I think it's just one cave, that you can get as an example, uh, Nose Pass. You can only get it in this one cave on the very specific, I think it's the very bottom level of the cave. That's the only way you can get it. Now we didn't, uh, I didn't want to apply that rule for this run. Because I wanted to have a little bit of a challenge for my first Nuzlocke. So, we didn't do that this time, but I'm sure in the future, we will probably do other Nuzlocke runs that are just for fun. That will literally be, if it's a new zone, we catch a new Pokémon. We'll probably do that at some point. <laughs> Because I think it would make it more interesting. In the case of caves, at least. I don't think there's that many routes you go to that have different spawns on different parts of the routes, but caves do. And I think that would be really fun. You would love to see more Nuzlocke. We will definitely be doing more Nuzlocke. I like Pokémon a lot. And anything that gives me an excuse <laughs> to play more Pokémon is definitely going to happen. <laughs> I love Pokémon, so it, it will definitely be here often, just like Genshin Impact. We play Genshin Impact a lot because I love Genshin Impact. <laughs> so anytime I have an excuse to play Genshin Impact. We play Genshin Impact because I love it. <laughs> that that will also be a running theme with Pokemon, I guarantee it. Somebody will be like, oh, we should do a Nuzlocke where we only catch Pokemon that can learn Tackle, and I'll be like, we're doing it next week. <laughs> uh, I just love Pokemon. I will take any excuse to do another Pokémon journey with my beloved Umbreon. I love journeying with Umbreon. I love it. Oh no, you haven't logged in in three months. Yeah, there you go! Just... Do don't treat it like a game you have to log in and play. Just log in when you want to. You know, when it's fun, when there's things to do. You don't have to log in all the time. I mean, unless you're free to play. Then it's a good idea to at least do your dailies. But even then, even if you skip a couple days of dailies where it's like one day you're just like, eh, I don't really feel like it. It really doesn't make that big of a difference. It really doesn't. You can miss a day or two. It's fine. <laughs> I don't even do the Spiral Abyss. <laughs> you know, should I be doing the Spiral Abyss? Probably. But I'm just not interested in grinding that hard, so I don't. On the positive side, at least you know that even if you miss a big story event, you'll always be able to see it here. 
because we will 100% play it on stream. And even if you're not there for the stream, there will always be a VOD. So you won't miss any story. I don't know if you were there for uh, the recent story with Zhao and um, Yelan. If you weren't, I highly recommend going back and watching that VOD. The story was so good. Like, actually, it was so good. Highly recommend. I forget what the name of the event was, but it's it's the recent one. Focus energy, no. <laughs> like, especially if you like Zhao. If you like Zhao, you want to see this story. Zhao is our favorite sulky boy. We love Zhao here. And we're sleeping. You feel like you'd be more motivated if you streamed it? I mean, it does give you more reason, you know? Because it's fun. Now, when you get to hang out with other people who also enjoy Genshin, it's fun. <laughs> I look forward to the day that we restart to do a story playthrough. Because when I first started streaming, um... We, we were in pretty late Genshin Impact story. It was uh, after Dragon Spine and the event with Albedo's exclusive story. And after the first Lantern Rite Festival in Liyue. It was after all those really awesome things. That's when I started. So, there were some really cool things that we didn't get to experience on my channel. So someday, we're going to start a new account just to play through the story. So that way we can all experience it together. For those who haven't seen it. Who have only been around for what we've done on the channel. So many of the early quests were really fun, and I loved the exploration. Like, honestly, that's kind of what I look forward to. Like, the story was great. I look forward to that. But mostly, mostly I look forward to exploring again with everyone. I want to take everyone with me to experience Genshin from the beginning and see everything with new eyes. Because it's so good. It's so fun, and I love it. Now, will we spend as much time on it as I did the first time? Probably not. Because we probably won't do, like, thorough, we're gonna find every single chest and stuff. Like I did my first playthrough because we'll mostly be doing it for story, but we'll probably do a little bit of exploring as we go places, just because we can, and I like it, and I want to show everyone the world. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. We're going to explore it with Ningguang. That's what I'm waiting for. We're waiting for a banner with Ningguang on it. Because 
I refuse to play without my queen. <laughs> Mondstadt was always super enjoyable to explore. It was. It is. It is so comfy. It's so pretty and so comfy. And there's so much just super comfy music. And then after you're done in Mondstadt, you get into Leeway. And Leeway is like... Leeway is so good too. But like in its own way. Not in the same way. It's different. It's a different kind of good. And it's so good. And the music is so good. My favorite song in Genshin is in Leeway. Oh, Fury Swipes. Yeah, we'll take that. I take Fury Swipes. Yes. Ningguang, my beloved. Ningguang is my beloved as well. <laughs> I was, I was so, uh, like, just head over heels. The first time, you know what, never mind. Maybe we won't take Fury Swipes, because we have Cut and Headbutt. And I kind of want to keep Sand Attack, so never mind. Yes, yeah, stop learning Fury Swipes. We won't learn that. Uh, yeah. When I first stumbled my way into Liyue, I was just like, oh yeah. Yeah, I need to go here. <laughs> Which is a funny story, because, uh... I was... I avoided the main story, because I could. <laughs> so as soon as I could, I was out and exploring. Completely ignoring the main story. So I was out in the mountains and stuff. And it was like, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> you know, the red highly or extremely dangerous or whatever it was. Every time I entered the zone. Which was hilarious. <laughs> and uh, I eventually made my way across Mondstadt. And made it to Liyue. But I couldn't go there yet because of the story. And I was just like, I need to do this story right now. <laughs> that was what ended my exploration and made me go back and do the story. Was I saw Leeway and I was like, I need to go here. <laughs> I need the story. <laughs> this area is extremely dangerous. And now we just walk around and vibe and avoid Spiral Abyss. Yep. I, uh, I sure did try Spiral Abyss before I was anywhere near ready to do it. <laughs> uh, I didn't even have enough characters to make two well-formed parties. The struggle was very real. <laughs> but I had fun. I'm so excited now because someday when I go back to Spiral Abyss, I'm actually going to have the characters to make two parties that function well together. <laughs> and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be so easy. It's gonna be easy mode. Yeah, same thing. Same thing happened to me. I got to Spiral Abyss way too early. Did not have characters built. Uh, I actually, in my desperation, <laughs> built up Zhang Ling so that I could stand a better chance. <laughs> It was a mess. It was a mess. <laughs> but I needed those Primo gems. I needed them. You see, I was, uh... I was grinding for Primo gems for Zhongli. I pulled on Zhang Li's banner all the way up to the very last pull that I was able to gain. And 
it was bittersweet. It was the most bittersweet moment. Because I so badly wanted Chi Chi to be my healer. And I pulled every single pull I could scrape together for Zhongli. And on my very last pull, I got a five star. <laughs> and I did not get Zhongli. I got Chi Chi. And I was so crushed, like absolutely devastated and over the top thrilled all at the same time. <laughs> My poor heart and brain just didn't know what to do with that. It was like, I got the healer I always wanted, but also, I didn't get Zhongli. <laughs> So, of course, I saved, and saved, and saved, for the, what, half a year until Zhongli had another banner? And we were streaming by then, and I was ready. <laughs> I was so ready for that banner. Because I wanted Memory of Dust, too, for my Ningguang. And we were ready. <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, we got Zhongli up to C2, which was my goal. And we pulled on the weapon banner. My first ever attempt at the weapon banner. And on the very first pull, we got Memory of Dust. So that was a glorious day. Not only did we get C2 Zhongli, we got Memory of Dust. <laughs> yeah. It was incredibly lucky. I was super thrilled. Also because I didn't just want Memory of Dust because it's Ningguang's best ban or best weapon. I also wanted it because lore bits. I am uh, I am real big on lore bits. I love lore bits, especially when they're relevant to a character that I love. And I love Zhongli and Ningguang. And Memory of Dust is just chock full of lore. So I needed it. <laughs> My queen needed her memories. Endeavor. Should we learn Endeavor? I forget if we wanted that or not. Yes, we do. We want Endeavor. So Endeavor is nice because it's one of those moves that is affected by HP. If our HP is lower than the foe's, we'll do a lot more damage. And that's a good thing in a Nuzlocke. We're getting rid of Double Team. We're getting Endeavor. We are no longer the Dodge Burb. We are now the... If they're beating us up, we kill them Burb. <laughs> and we have an item to get. I'll take that money. It's money. Well! That went quickly. I think 
we get uh, charcoal for Zoomerupt in the next town where the gym is. I'm pretty sure there's charcoal waiting for us there, and I'm excited about that. Because we can power up our fire type moves. I plan to get flamethrower for Zoomerupt from the game corner. We have to get Flamethrower and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is for Bolt. Now, surprisingly enough, uh, Bolt doesn't actually learn that many Electric-type moves. Oh my god, we up! Okay, there we go. We're good. They woke up. I still think it's silly how they never miss... Sing always hits. We should save. Just in case. We've been doing a lot of leveling, and it would really suck if the game crashed and we lost all of it. Knock on wood. Not challenging the universe. Clearly, since I'm saving and being careful. It's too bad there's so much concern over, like, DMCA and having issues with that. Because it would be super cool to be able to listen to music together. Takedown? No. I would love to be able to just listen to music with everyone. It would be super cool. Like, I understand music companies not wanting people to just straight up post videos of their music. Like, that's not cool. But, like... I wish they would relax a little bit. About people... Using music... When they're streaming. You know, when the music is obviously not... The only content that happens and isn't even the main content that's happening. It's just background music. You know, I wish we could come to some kind of agreement on that. <laughs> Because that would be good for everyone, you know? That's why game companies let streamers stream games. Because it's free advertising and more people go out and buy the game. Yeah. I think if they allowed people to play music in the background on streams, as long as you're actually streaming and the content isn't just the music. I think they would benefit from them a lot. Because people would hear the music in the background and they'd be like, oh, you know, I really like this song. I should go find it and buy it. You know, like they do with video games. Ugh, that poison. Uh, I gotta keep track of their HP. Okay, they still got 40. We're fine. Oh, well. Maybe someday, you know? Maybe someday the music companies will change their mind and be like, you know what? That's a good idea. 
we should we should be nice and get that free advertising. Stretch, good idea. And hydrate. We start the next battle and we'll do both. Stretch. Excellent. Thank you, Def. Your shoulders appreciate you. Also doing a hydrate thing. That's why we're not zooming through the fight. And we're paralyzed. Sad face. There we go. Hydrated and stretched. Excellent. Chat! Make sure you're hydrating too. And stretch. Don't sit like gremlins, okay? It's not good for your back. Be kind to your spine. Give it a good stretch every once in a while. We've been leveling for a while, so... Definitely a good idea to give your back a nice stretch. I'll get late. Alright. Thanks for coming. It's been fun having you. We've been enjoying our conversation. Oh, we're still asleep? <laughs> I didn't realize we were still sleeping. If you're going to bed, I hope you have a good sleep, since you said it's late. Level 30! Yes! Oh, let's just go to the- let's just go to the- Let's go to the Pokemon Center. It's right there. No reason to waste our items. There we go. Bye bye, Nick. Exidia. Have good sleep. I'll see you next time. Maybe tomorrow. I wonder if we could fight as a Viper. We probably shouldn't risk it. It's probably better to just. To just not risk it. They're strong. It's risky. We don't need to be losing our only fire Pokémon right now. Actually, I mean, technically, we do have Torkoal. So, Zoomerup isn't our only fire Pokémon. But I like Zoomerup. So, I don't want to lose Zoomerup. Stop paralyzing Kiwiburb! Why? Why do you always <laughs> paralyze Kiwi Burb? Every time! Kiwi Burb just trying to live their life. use rare candy to get Zoomer up evolved. But we still have other Pokemon that need levels too. I kind of just want to get Zoomer up to level 33 to get that evolution. I just, I want it. I want camera up. It's like I want Altaria. I just want camera up. I like camels. I think they're cool. I'm just not even dealing with paralysis anymore. It's fine. We don't need to. I just had a thought. I totally forgot to use the flute. Use. 
There we go. Now we can get more encounters. Should have remembered to do that earlier. The whole reason we got the flute. Money. On the positive side, we can't get paralyzed anymore because we're already paralyzed. Same strategy. New route. <laughs> Ding, level 29. Progress. And more free items. I'll take that. Full restore. Actually, that's a that's a pretty epic item. Not sure how often we'll use them. That'll be real nice for the Elite Four, though. Because we're going to have to heal ourselves in between every fight. That's a thing, too. Like in the Battle Tower and the Elite Four, I always thought it was kind of cheap that you don't get any healing in between fights. You have to heal... In the case of the Elite Four, you have to heal yourself. And in the case of the Battle Tower, you don't get healed at all. But you get to fight these trainers that have full parties of fully healed Pokémon. Because they only have to fight you. I always thought that was kind of unfair. <laughs> Especially in the Battle Tower. Let's just not put in Kiwi Bird versus that. I don't know if it tells me when the effects of the flu wear off. Or if it's just indefinite. So close. And we're sleeping. Wake up, Zoomerupt! <laughs> Zoomerupt likes naps. And we're paralyzed. We're always paralyzed! Ah, uh, can't escape it. At least we are so high leveled that it doesn't matter. I like seeing Zigzam pick up items so often makes me happy. I like items. We have so much candy. Candy, candy. Candy. Another game on our list. We're gonna play FNAF. I don't know if we'll play the original FNAFs. Because I am definitely not a keyboard warrior. Uh, I am very bad. But, we are going to play the newest FNAF someday. Because I need Wholesome Freddy in my life. I love Wholesome Freddy. Wholesome Freddy is the best Freddy. Did the flute wear off? 
We haven't had an encounter in a while. And we're sleeping. Zoomer up likes naps. And we're sleeping again. Come on, Zoomer up. They always sleep for so many turns, too. You can tell they really like naps. Ding? Ding! One more level. Please. There we go. Alright. We're close. Gotta use the flute again. The white flute. Our leveling montages will be much more effective now. Please wake up, Zoomerupt. There you go. They're working hard. They need their sleeps. Whoops, wrong move. There we go. I look forward to having Flamethrower. Stuff. Ooh, more Ultra Balls. Nice. We're gonna have so many Ultra Balls before we can even buy them. That's good, though. It means we're less likely to miss out on a catch like we did with Wingle! Because we didn't play around the crit. Rip Wingle. We'll always remember you. Exam's almost level 30. We're close. Ding level 30! Alright, so now we just need Bolt and Kiwi Burb to get to 30, and Camera Up to get to level 33. Or Zoomer Up, rather, so they can get to level 33 and be a Camera Up. Brain brain's getting ahead of itself. We're close. Close. No, not paralysis. No, par no paralyzing bolt. So close. Soon. One more. Excellent. Let's uh get that updated before I forget. 
like I always do. Change you out because you are no longer a small numble. You are now a large camera up. Bam. So big. So big, much boopable snoot. Much snoot booping. Look at that gorgeous snoot just waiting to be booped. Well, I gotta select them by themselves. I don't want to move everyone, I just want to move them. There. There. Glorious. And update their name. And we're good. Right there. Very nice. Look at that. A whole party of strong Pokemon. And yes, we are getting Rock Miss. <laughs> Because that's our only rock-type move right now. Oops. There we go. Rock miss. Yes. So now... I'll probably keep these in this order. few more levels, and then our party will be ready. We easy mode now. We should probably try to save Spark for the survivors, shouldn't we? Vipers are the ones we actually have to worry about. And Lombres. Ding, level 27. Let's go heal. Get rid of that paralysis. Now that Bolt is fighting on their own. Don't need to be having a disadvantage. Loot, use, and continue the fight. Gotta make sure we check the exam every once in a while, too. Since we're not actively in here looking at them to see them. These last few levels are gonna go fast. We're not fighting with little baby Zoomerupt and Cumulus anymore. We're fighting with Bolt now. We serious mode. gonna go really fast when we get back to Kiwi Burp too. Cause a lot of the Pokemon here are weak to Kiwi Burb. Love the running animation. Two more. Oh, we're all out of strength. 
guess we're using Spark now. We'll use Quick Attack on the uh, low tads. Save our Spark for... Oh, never mind, we're paralyzed. <laughs> guess we'll go get our moves restored. our flute again. Survivor stands no chance. Swablu also stands no chance, but I kind of want to save my spark for survivors. Because they're scary. <laughs> Switch to quick attack. Wasted a strength, sad face. And we're sleeping. You can do a bolt. Come on! There you go. She just needed to rest for a little bit. Take a quick nap. Get her strength back. One more level. Whoops. Easy 400 XP. Needs more level 17 survivors. Lombres are such good XP. We're all out of strength. We're close, though. Easy. Wait, it actually survived? That was a strong survivor. level 30. One more. Just Kiwi Burp. Oh, I forgot we were supposed to be checking his exam for items. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's scary. So Vipers on Kiwi Burp scare me a little bit. One more. And we're good. Everyone is ready. Easy. 